I'm not late. Yes, I'm not late. I started the stream 10 seconds before, so that you can't say that I'm late. I, I started it 10 seconds before, so none of you can say that I'm late, because I'm not this time, because I started it 10 seconds late, a whole te not late, 10 seconds early. I'm just too good at the game, what can I say? Anyways, I'm not late. I, I really am not late. I, I started it early. Anyways, hello everyone. Today is the day where I complete these very, very terrible... Uh, where are they? I, I can't... Ah. These very terrible weekly challenges. I, w I was thinking they, were, they will be good, like Halloween 2022 sort of challenges, but no, they ended up being very bad. Also, there's a Ring 2 Halloween lobby, so that's pretty cool. The memory game's quite easy. Well, yeah, it, that, that challenge has already happened on the first week of the, of the like, weekly challenges. And now it's back, which I don't mind. But yeah. Yes, they are in 2022. I, I, w I was thinking they will be 2022 because there was a pattern. It was 2018, then 2019, then 2020. But no, just like 2021, there was no nothing relating to Halloween this week. Not literally nothing. No, they didn't reuse half of the challenges. They reused all of the challenges. Literally, all of these challenges have already happened. This is the first. This is the first time the GG challenge has appeared, and the second time all of these have appeared. This is. It's so funny. Anyways, I'm gonna go to ring one because there's a new lobby. I haven't explored it. I only saw a small sneak peek of it, and I'm not gonna lie. It looks sick. This. This. I did not even see the tents. This looks sick. What the heck? Okay, well... Yeah, they are recycling content. The goddamn Halloween cat! And you can pet the Halloween cat. That's amazing. You can pet the spooky cat. Are, are those cats? Yes, they are. That, this... this I like I liked the theme of this. This looks sick. I'm watching it, Freya. You should probably sleep. I'd recommend you sleep. I'm gonna open chat because if someone... If someone says GG, I need to... Okay, that's that's the thing. Not now. Someone beats something to say GG. That's the umbrella. Is the gay shop different by any chance? It's new on my end. Hello, static. Oh, Super Mario. Yeah, that released. I fully forgot. Yeah, the gay shop is nothing's different about the gay shop. Uh, I I'm gonna be honest. For me, my the main attraction to me was not Super Mario Wonders. For me, it was Spider Man, uh, like Spider Man Two. That that game. I I'm not. I can't play the game because I don't have a console. So I'm watching someone's playthrough, and I'm not gonna lie, so far it looks really good. I like it. This lobby, though, I I really like the theming of this lobby. And the tower area, okay, this is sick. This is sick. I'm not, no, I'm not watching Tamago, I'm watching Jacksepticeye, because I watched him do Spider-Man 1. There's a guy at the ticket booth. Will he say something? No, he does not say anything. What a goddamn scum. Be Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and I can confirm it's it's a Mario game, but not really much more than that. I mean, to be fair, what did you expect? It was always gonna be a Mario game. Are there more... Hey, weren't there pumpkin tickets here somewhere? Hey, let's go. There, I swear to one of these was a pumpkin ticket. Maybe I'm mistaken. But I swear one of them was a, month, a, 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 a pumpkin ticket or whatever. Don't forget uh, to watch... What? I did a challenge. Okay, time to time to focus. All right, I need th that. This is the key. Okay, this is easy. Okay, I'm following it. It's funny how easy this is. Oh my god, Adamir, you're such a troll. Well, of course it's purple. It's purple. Just kidding. It's this. I saw it. I was follow. I was. I was following it with my eyes, but I I made made sure the cursor isn't correct, cause funny. Also, you are such a troll. I hate you so much. I hate you so damn much. You are a goddamn troll. Even even with Adamir distracting me, I still I still did it. I still did it. I still did it. I'm going to a wedding. Good luck. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do 2019, because that's objectively an easier boss. Uh, a totem, but not as good. Because totem 2 is better. Okay. What are the challenges? They are terrible. 
You need to say GG, you need to beat Limbo, you need to beat Halloween 2019 boss fight, you need to beat uh, uh, Halloween 2020 boss fight, which both of them are fairly easy. To be fair, if it was Possessed Blades, it would have been even easier, so at least there's some sort of challenge. I think Halloween 2022 had the second easiest boss out of Halloween events. The easiest one being Slamo, the second one, well, Possessed Blades, then I'd say it's... Totem of Hell, and then Possessed Blades. No, not Possessed Blades, a Radiant Guardian. I think... Wait, falling into the lava takes away attempts? Since when is that a thing? And why do I only have two attempts? I'm so confused. What the heck? Sure, let's let's do it with two attempts. I, I think I can manage. It, it is a very good boss, yeah, I, I agree. And I'm gonna re-beat it today because... I, I'm gonna try to theorize about uh, Halloween 2023, and I ha and I have like an expectation that E13 is gonna be a reoccurring like villain, like Dark Claws. Except this time he's gonna be an actual villain and not a joke half the time. I really hope they, I I really hope how Jato events work is there's gonna be like a a reoccurring storyline for like three to five events, and then a COHP like Citadel. Uh, to end the whole storyline off. I doubt that's gonna happen, but it'd be cool. I'd love that, and I hope E14 is gonna be a reoccurring villain. Because you get more invested into a story if it goes on for longer. Because because I feel like if an ev if like a story goes through five events, I'll be more invested into it than if there's like five different stories throughout five, five different events. I just choked on my words. What if destroying an orphanage was a real challenge? Then I, I, I would be the best, I would be, I would have predicted it, and I would be the best uh, challenge predictor. I'm stupid. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna kill myself real quick, and I'm just gonna restart it. I, I am too lazy. Oh no, I ran out of attempts. This is the first time I'm even seeing the screen, I'm not gonna lie. There would be no orphanage left. Uh... Is that the only way you can somewhat play TOD? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Also, this lobby goes hard. Also, that Shamik goes hard as well. How rare is that? 1 in 1.25. No, 1 in 1.25k, yeah. What can I say? I'm just that good. Uh, is this uh, the only way... Wait, I've already read that. I want to beat TODCC on that, uh, like... Uh, that, like, version of Jato. Not, it's not really a version of Jato, it's more like... Uh, a ruined lobby. I want to beat it on that, but the issue is the DCC sucks. It is so obnoxiously terrible. It's not even funny. And either way, the legacy event will probably bring back a DCC. So there's not really a reason to play it in that state when there is a better state I could play it in in the future. It is in fact me. You are right. I think the new Ring One lobby might be one of the best. Uh, like, Halloween lobbies, in my opinion, at least. Although I prefer... I prefer the ruined Ring 1 lobby with, like, the red things. It The, the whole Possessed Blade thing, it the lobby being destroyed, I prefer that because I just love ruined lobbies in video games. Which is why I really love this uh, area as a whole. So I think Halloween, Halloween 2022 had the best Halloween lobby, and so far I'd say this had the second best one. It just I I really like the 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 mixture of orange and purple. It goes really well, and the neon lights everywhere where when everything's dark also just really is really cool. Hello, Makina. I almost just failed that. This time actually I actually have five attempts instead of two, so that's a good thing I guess. Imagine what Jato would be if the old difficulty chart was the modern one. Jato would be garbage. If DODCC was considered, if DODC Classic was considered modern, then the game would be a hellhole. It would be terrible. Yeah, I think Halloween 2019's boss is cool, but the whole lobby of the boss is better than the boss. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think the whole I think the whole lobby thing should just be the boss, and the boss should just not not exist. Because I'm not gonna lie, the boss kind of sucks. It's not even hard, it's just bad. Because it, it's- I feel like it's over too, a bit too easy. 
I feel like out of all the Halloween events, the only one that I can see myself dying in is, uh, is, uh, Halloween 2020. I, I know I did it again. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Surprisingly, Christmas bosses, I think, are harder. Well, not harder. Not all of them. I just think mainly one of them, aka Halloween, not Halloween, Christmas 2020. That, that boss is hard as hell. I really hope we don't need to do that boss for a challenge, because then, then I'm going to have to learn that boss solo, because I want to try to beat it solo. So if a beat Christmas 2020 is, is going to be a challenge during Christmas time, then you're going to be able to see a six hour stream of me just trying to beat the boss solo, which is not going to be fun. Yeah, Tower Too Easy is in this lobby because back in the day, Too Easy, well, back in 2019, Too Easy was still a thing, so it's in the lobby. It, I, I wouldn't say it's hell. It's a really fun boss. It, it just easily is the hardest out of any boss. Not counting piano and Tenchi, of course. But I, I, I think it's a really fun boss fight, though. It's just uh, the hardest out of any. Easily the hardest. No competition. The thumbnail is is beat is not it's not beat the orphanage it's destroy the orphanage, because that's that's the challenge that's one of the challenges you have to destroy an orphanage, it's real totally not fake. Uh, I I think they'll probably actually I don't think they will. I don't think they will bring back Christmas schools just because it's weekly challenges and you'll only have one week. So unless they like make it so. Uh, Unless they make it so, uh, what's it called? It's like a, a monthly challenge, a monthly tower, then I, I don't think they'll do it. I don't think it's worth, like, bringing it back for just a week. Also, this is the first time I ever managed to get here with five attempts left, because it always, for some reason, breaks that drop and makes me lose, like, three lives. Which, to be fair, I don't need those three lives. This boss is very easy. Just quickly shoot the cannon. That oh I missed. Never mind, I didn't miss. This, this, like this boss isn't even a challenge. I'm not even sure the I'm not even sure the the the, the ghosts even do anything, because I swear to God they never deal damage to me for some reason. They just are useless. This is a balanced boss on like 2018. I, I guess it's definitely better than 2018, but that's not really a compliment, because 2018 is just not that good. 2018's boss was quite bad, I'd say. To be fair, uh, they were the early days of Jato, so you shouldn't really expect much from 2018. But you can definitely see that the bosses have gone better and better over time, which is really cool. The, yeah, they are very buggy, which is what makes this fight very easy. I'm gonna get that far pumpkin, so I could get spawns closer, maybe. I think this boss overall is pretty cool, and the whole arena is... is I'd say the, the arena is one of the better arenas in Jato. Like, boss fight arenas. The best one is definitely uh, the the Possessed Blades fight. That, that fight just goes hard. I was really looking forward to that being a challenge just because of how good that boss fight is. It really is one of the best Jato boss fights, if not the best one. I'd argue it's the best one. Actually... I think Totem Mark II was the best one in COHP. I, 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 I don't know how hot this stake is gonna be, but I think uh, the final floor of COHP is the best floor in all of Jato, in my opinion. It just really is good. If you haven't played COHP, all I can say is, after, after floor 8, the Citadel gets really good. The first 8 floors are kinda bad, I'm not gonna lie. But after floor 8, floor 9 and onwards, those floors are really fun. They're definitely the highlights of the entire Citadel. They're so good. Okay. Also, Halloween... Uh, the ha uh, Not Halloween. Uh, guess what got delayed? <laughs> Geometry Dash 2.2. Who, who could have thought? Who could have thought that that was going to be delayed? I, I, I totally did not expect that, no. I feel like Wrapped Up just is not that good with deadlines. And I'm not surprised it got delayed to November. At least it's gonna release less buggy than it would. 
Uh, there aren't floors in COHP. I don't care how how the floors scout. I just think the 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 whole totem Mark II fight as a whole. I count that as one floor, and I think it's the best floor in all of JTO. It just is very good. Time for the things that don't work. I do not understand the goddamn ghosts. What the hell do they even do? Because they never deal damage to me. They just appear and disappear, and that's it. They just dip. They become the average father of a Jato player. They just randomly disappear and never come back. I, I don't get it. It, it, it. Cut the guy some slack. He only had 8 plus years to develop. Yeah, I, th I think the reasoning for the delay is actually fair. I don't mind the delay. I, I think a, a delayed but uh, good product is better than a, a rushed out one. And that goes for anything. I feel like I'd rather wait for the update to be as good as possible than just have it delayed. Not delayed, and have it released as a buggy mess. Because, like, imagine waiting for a, for an update so long just for it to be an entire mess. I, I would not want that. So I'm happy that the delays are happening. Because if there are bugs, then I feel like they should be fixed. I mean, if you watch the trailer, there are two spider icon buttons. If you, like, if you... If you watch the trailer at the icon editing part, you can notice two spider buttons. I'm pretty sure that's not intentional. So, that's fun. But yeah, hopefully, the, when, it, when the update releases, hopefully it's gonna end up being good. Oh, the song switch. Ooh, the boss apparently is gonna get harder even though it doesn't. The boss stays the same difficulty, because it's easy. It probably is a placeholder. But it's still a funny thing I noticed in the trailer. The trailer is honestly pretty cool. Although, what is that Creo song in the trailer? Because I cannot pinpoint what that song is. It sounds like a remix. It's like... It sounds like a remix of... of uh, I forgot the name of it, goddammit. It's probably jetpack mode. Yeah, it could be. Although, does jetpack mode have, like, icons? Because I've only seen the, the basic icon of uh, the jetpack. I've never actually seen uh, any other uh, like uh, icons you could have. Wait, the ghost, did, they, you, they used to chase you, and the, if it touches you, it deals a lot of damage. Okay, so basically they're, they used to be harmful, but now they're pretty much peaceful. Amazing. Probably just old scripting that bugged that, I assume. This boss fight as a whole is buggy. Because sometimes you just randomly lose lives for nothing. I had that happen to me when uh, I was doing this boss originally, and, I, and instead of having three lives, I only had two, which wasn't really an issue because I only lost one life in the entire fight. I expected the boss fight to be... Okay, well, that's that thing's blocking me. That's not fun. Well, I have to wait for that thing to disappear now. I guess I'll just collect pumpkins. Okay, it's gone now. Thank goodness. Also, those bombs are so harmless. Just move out when they start glowing. What's your opinion about uh, the 2.2 trailer? I think it's a good trailer. It looks promising. I'm excited. T to be fair, nothing really would like not too much was new. The the diamond shop thing was new. I did not I did not know anything about that. But a lot of the things were pretty much things that we knew, so it's not like really anything too special. Although we did hear more of the Dash song, which is always pretty cool. Hearing more of that was cool. I cannot wait to listen to the full song though when 2.2 releases. That's gonna be sick. Okay. That got two of them, I think it only got one. Uh, why are, are the Halloween challenge? Yeah, th th for some reason, instead of picking out 20 Halloween 2022, which, in my opinion, would have been a better pick for the challenge, just because it would have followed the pattern, they instead just made past events, the past past challenges, challenges, I guess, like t 2020 and 2019, or it's meant to, or it's meant to be like Halloween 2021, where there was no Halloween update. And because of that, there's no 2022 challenges, and next week we're getting 2022. Which, I doubt that's the case. I really doubt that that's the case, but it'd be funny. It would be very funny. I probably won't stream 2.2 because I want to experience the update on my own. 
So the answer probably is no. Uh, this week's uh, are the most boring challenges. Yeah. They are boring because they are recycled. There's not a single new challenge. All of them are old. One of them is literally appeared for the first time. Which is, I think it's funny. The GG challenge seems to be favored by the developers. Because it's always a go-to returning challenge for some reason. I, I don't know what makes it so special. I guess they just want the community to be nice, which... That's a that's a lot that's a lost cause. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I I what my guess is they probably the system probably actually. I, the thing is, I I I think I would think that it's randomly generated, but just because there's two Halloween challenges, I think they were still handpicked. I don't think it was fully automated. They just handpicked a few past challenges because. The fact that there is just two Halloween challenges is what makes me think that they were handpicked. Why is the thing stuck? Why why is why is it stuck? Okay, never mind. So yeah, I think I think it, they were handpicked just cuz of that. Uh oh wait. The random system chooses Halloween ones in October. Too. Oh. Well, yeah, I know it. I guess. I guess, yeah. Unless it, like, ch chooses random challenges from, like, the past month or something. And, okay, well, if you've seen you've, that, how it's scripted, then, yeah, I, I can. I trust you. Okay, that's interesting. That is really interesting. So they are randomly generated. We got ChatGPT challenges. Which, it's better than no challenges. So, I don't mind having ChatGPT challenges instead of no challenges. I think it's good. If the, if these were monthly challenges, then we would not have anything this month, probably. Well, we probably would, but, yeah. Uh, they can force certain challenges, which is when they add new ones. Wait, I can't pick it up. Uh, just let the random ones go. Just let, let the... I, I, I do not understand. They can force certain challenges, which is when they add new ones, or just let the random ones go. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I read that so wrong. Where the hell did the red thing go? Where's the red force field? Oh, oh, wait, it's one-sided. I fully forgot about that. And that thing's blocking. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go collect pumpkins then. Now we're shooting a block. Okay. Oh, well, they're perfectly lined up for me. I did not notice that black thing. Why does it have to be black? It, it camouflages with the floor. And it deals a lot of damage too. Which, which, is, which sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna play Tower of Ella gimmicks. It, that tower sucks because it's made by N43. That's a bit rude, but but you get what I mean. Okay. I'm gonna blow up the bombs. Okay. Oh, that was. Okay. Wait. If the bomb thing blows up, all of the bombs explode. That's cool. I did not know that's how that works. That goes should have. Cotton me, I'm surprised it didn't. I want a Halloween event. Well, my guess is the Halloween event is probably releasing next weekend, which means I'll probably won't be able to stream it on release because I won't be home. But once I'm home, I will probably stream it. My guess it's releasing on the 29th or 30th. I highly doubt it's gonna release on the. Uh, wait, no, 28th, 29th. Because Tuesday, I think, is the 31st. 20 set wait 27 was yeah 20 28 or 29th I hope it's next weekend I'm too busy to make videos until next weekend I, I also hope it's next weekend I don't care if I'm not gonna be able to stream it on release I just want the event to be out I'm not gonna lie it doesn't matter to me if I'm there for the release I just want to enjoy the event okay this this is wait th this fit this Final layer is easy. The only hard part about it is the the black the black things. 
just because they're hard they're really hard to jump over they are really stupidly difficult to jump over just because of how fast they go which I could go with the red force field yeah does not matter okay okay I'm just gonna try to shoot out the black ones that sounds very racist but y you understand what I'm trying to say uh, uh, would you? What, 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 what deal? Da what deal damage to me? I was not looking. Oh, they're still there! God damn it! Uh, would you watch a game builder garage? I, I would, I would rather beat TOFR ten times in a row, because then at least the oh, what the hell? When did I die? I was really not looking at the game. It's funny how the only time you die to this boss is if you just do not care about the boss and are focusing on something else. Like, this boss is stupidly easy, I'm not even gonna lie. There's barely any challenge to it. If you just uh, take your time, heal, and uh, just jump over things, it's pretty easy. Okay, well, the first build is gonna be on the black one, so might as well shoot out what... Actually, never mind. Aw, oh, goddammit. I should have kept the shots. Because those black ones are really dangerous. Oh, goddamn, one of them is alive. I'll go for that one. That one seems the safest. Eh, too bad it's a lot of... Yeah, this boss is a walking simulator. It really is. Like, it's easy, it's, it's easy but at the same time, it's not that fun. If you, if you want the boss to just be doable and free mo free baby mode, then this boss is made for you. But if you want an actual hard and challenging th boss, then that you should probably go do Halloween 2020. So that's like the only hard Halloween boss. Uh, Eagle, please, for the safety of you, of you not being called race, stop calling them black ones. Well, I'm I'm naming them after the bullets. Like I I call I think I, I would call this guy the white one because it shoots white bullets, but it's not that dangerous because the pattern makes it easy to jump over. So I'm not trying to like focus on the white ones. I'm focusing on the black ones because they shoot fast and they just deal a lot of damage, and it's really hard to jump over them, which is what makes them hard to dodge. Look at, <laughs> I I really should start calling them something else. You are right. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot that one out early. Oh, I gotta wait for the force field. Okay, nice. Okay, well, GG, I beat, I beat it. Like, there's literally nothing hard left about this boss. Literally destroyed all of the easy ones. What the hell are you ta talking about? Of course the white one is in danger. Nah, like... The white one is in danger because the pattern is very predictable and easy to jump over. The black one is... Never mind, the white one is dangerous. I take back my words. I take back everything I was saying. The white one was dangerous. How did I manage to die two times to this boss? I actually feel ashamed of myself. I feel very ashamed of myself. This boss is easy and I died twice to it. Oh my god, I was being overly confident. That's the issue. Those three pumpkins are... Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, well, it's only... It's only the white ones left. Shouldn't be too bad. Don't feel bad, I actually failed the... How did you fail the boss? Now, now that's impressive. What you did right there is impressive. What? It deals... What? Never mind, the white ones are dangerous. How much damage does that stuff deal? What the hell? Jesus Christ. I do not remember it being so deadly. Okay, will it that hit? Yep, it will. Easy. Easiest boss of my life. Yeah, you need a lot of shots, but it's all good. Okay, well now I'm hoping that the zipline actually works this time. If the if the zipline works this time, I'll actually get to witness the ending. If it doesn't, I will cry. So hopefully it works. I'm, I'm hoping it works. It doesn't. Of course it's not gonna work. Of course, it's not gonna work. Well, to be fair, the ending is literally just you going into a vi in white, white void. I'm so, I'm so bad. I'm so, I'm so angry about it not working. My Lithuanian accent, my Lithuanian, Lithuanian accent came out. 
and it does not seem to be there. Yep, it does. It is not gonna work, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Uh, so I have to leave manually now, which is which is bad. How dare you force me to leave manually? I'm so sad. Anyways, the, the only one challenge is left now. Uh, I did not update the weekly challenge thing. I really did not update it. And the current challenge is uh, the only hard uh, uh, Halloween boss. I'm gonna make a poll. I want to see how many of you will believe in me and how many of you think I, I am a failure. Okay, let me see. Will I beat the boss first try? Yes? No. Alright, let's see how many believers and doubters there are. I mean, I did complete the challenge, that's all that matters in the end. But it still would be cool to see the ending. Yeah, I'm doing it solo. The boss is so fun solo. I find the boss a lot easier solo, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think the boss is super easy solo because you can easily predict the, the attacks and I have a very good strat for the boss. And as long as I don't get too distracted by the chat, I should be good, hopefully. But knowing me, I'll get distracted by the chat and die. Now, the hardest part about this challenge is finding a server with a working solo teleporter. That is easily the hardest challenge. If I find a server with a working solo teleporter, then I'm pretty much gold. But until then, this does not look possible. And it's broken. Time to block random people. And time to just go back to ring one. This is gonna be fun. It, you know, the duo only teleports you if, uh, if there's two people. It doesn't actually teleport you if you're the only one. I tried it. And the issue is, the servers are filled up to the max, usually, so... Going into a duo one, even if you were solo, going into the duo one would be impossible without someone else joining. To be fair, do doing a duo is probably objectively easier than, than doing it solo, because... You only- one person needs to deal, uh, one 18.5 thousand damage, where in solo you have to deal 30k damage. So, yeah. I think- okay, well, that was surprisingly easy. I am shocked. La last week, it was very hard to find single servers, but that was surprisingly easy. I, I'm not gonna do multiplayer, because I find solo just easier. I like no I like predicting the attacks and when it's duo it's kind of hard to predict where the boss is going to lunge. And the lunge is the thing that's like the deadliest. And when I'm solo it's pretty easy to just predict the lunge. I'm working on a fan game right now. Uh, any ideas to how we can make it actually good and not get demotivated? Well, you could try to look at other fan games and like maybe take inspiration from them. And don't uh, set give deadlines to yourself cuz that's never a good thing. You'll probably and the uh, end up just not meeting the deadline unless you're like the only make deadlines if you know that you're gonna be able to do it I mean I need to test out whether uh, I have the health bug because if I have the health bug then this run is dead in the water okay I don't that's good okay the lunge okay then it's gonna do that I don't know why the headless horseman phase is gone I really don't when I first played this boss, I was surprised. When I first replayed this boss, I was surprised there was that that phase was gone because that was a pretty like easy phase. I assume it was gone just because it's boring. I guess. I feel like that's probably the reason. Okay, she does the thing. Can I please get arrows? Please give me arrows. Please, thank you. Okay, well that's gonna be. Pretty tough arrow to get. Also, strat for the boss, always keep one arrow on you, and I did not do that. I thought I picked up that one other arrow. It basically, try to always keep one arrow on you, because if you don't know, if you kill a shade, it guarantees an arrow spawn. After like 30 seconds to like 2 minutes. But it guarantees one, so it's always important to keep at least one arrow on you, especially if you're doing it solo. Because having, like, having guaranteed arrow spawn, it's it's very good. Okay. That's a lunge. That's the axe. 
I'm glad there's a monthly challenge for the Guardian, yeah. I'm glad that weekly challenges are actually giving event, event replay uses. That's pretty cool. I was not... I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. Okay, no shade. I'm waiting for my boy shade to come up. Oh no, I dropped my arrow. Oh no, I'm dropping my arrow. This is so sad. <laughs> It'd be so funny if there was an arrow duplication glitch that none of us know about. Yeah, it was here last week and now it's back. Which I don't mind because this challenge is pretty fun. I like this boss a lot. This is a really fun boss, in my opinion. There, there can be some RNG elements to it. And the lunges can sometimes be annoying, but most of the time, if you know how to deal with them, they're not too bad. If the boss lunges, just try to stay close to the boss so it teleports away. Because if it teleports away, then you have a really easy lunge to deal with. Especially on phase 2. Just try to... Not, just try to be as close to the boss when it does the multiple lunge thing. Because a close lunge is deadlier. Okay, there's an arrow here. Oh, there's a lot of arrows here. Okay. That's gonna be a... Okay. I think it's now gonna go here so I can maybe hit it. Yes. Okay. Uh, we we just did it and Legend got slapped into swords and died. Yep. Oh, I was not paying attention to the boss. Okay, get shot. Okay, the lunge. I think it's gonna do the... I think it's gonna go to a sub face after the next shot. Okay, that's really good. That's a guaranteed arrow spawn. Give me, give me one of those. Okay, did that hit? It did hit. Okay, it only did two of those things, so it's still the first phase, not a sub phase. Yeah, and it's still do only doing one lunge. Did that? Okay, it hit. Is it still not the sub phase? I don't, oh, it did hit. Okay, it's the sub phase now. So it's gonna lunge twice. Oh, I, 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 I did that so wrong. I should have gotten hit. Okay. But I'm happy I did not get hit. Oh, these swords are so annoying. Oh my, what the hell was that? Did I get hit by the shade? I swear I wasn't anywhere close to it. Okay, that's gonna be a... L no, it's not gonna be a lunge. Okay, get shot. Give me an arrow spawn. Okay. Piano is... Yeah, piano is very difficult. Piano... Piano is a lot harder than this. Piano is really difficult. It's the hardest boss for a reason. Okay, and I'm not gonna hit the boss now. This is where my strategy comes into play. I'm now just gonna explain what I do with this boss. I get it down to one shot before phase two. Basically, one shot and it's going to phase two. Because it always goes to phase two when it's half of its HP. So if I just keep it on phase one, I could spam collect the arrows and just spam shoot her during the phase transition. Because you can actually deal damage to her during the phase transition and she doesn't shoot. She doesn't, like, move. So it's really good. So I just stack up the arrows until I reach the arrow limit, and then I just shoot. That's my strategy, basically. Those were bad lunges. I'm surprised they didn't... Okay. That was a good lunge, though. Okay. Oh my goodness! What the hell was that? I'm sh I'm not even sure what the hell even was that. How did I not hit the shade? There's another one? Where did that appear from? What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna die. This is a dead run. Unless I can... Yeah, no. What? That threw me off. If that thing wouldn't... If that... Wow, that threw me off. I think I would have probably won that if whatever happened there ha didn't happen. I'm surprised. I am really surprised. 
I I was trying to like unless does if the if the soda f it, like it gets thrown on you, do you get knocked? Because I got knocked by something, and I don't think it was the shade. Because I the shade was far enough away, I think. Well, I guess, uh, well, I guess uh, the doubters win. How many doubters were there? There were 40% doubters. Will they win? Okay, well... Uh, will I beat the boss second try? Yes, no. Let's see how many doubters there will be this time. 2053 October updates. World 9 is now released. 56 new towers. That's a lot of towers. That is a whole lot of towers. I believe in you. Well, thank you. Hopefully, I do not disappoint. Hopefully. Uh, Tenshi... Tenshi is pretty difficult. I mean, Tenshi is a lot easier than Piano by a... Tenshi... The only thing that makes Tenshi hard is its speed. If Tenshi attacks were a lot slower, I feel like it'd be a lot easier. The speed is definitely what makes it super difficult. I think I'll beat it this attempt. The only reason I didn't beat it last attempt was because of that one thing. That I'm still not even sure what happened. After the stream, I want to see what happened. Because I'm not sure. That pretty much made me go from full HP to 1 HP. And during this boss, it's really hard to heal back up. Unless... No, well, it's easier to heal back up on phase 2, surprisingly. Because phase 2 has a lot of attacks where it's just easy to heal up. The Abbey is one of them, the other one is... Okay. The other one is uh, that circle attack with the swords. That attack is very easy to heal on. Where's the Curse Blade Small Fleet Challenge? I don't know, it should have been here, but it, I'm surprised it didn't appear. I'm still gonna do Curse Blades because I want to see the dialogue after defeating it. Because I want to see what it says when you defeat it. I really want to kill that shade. Okay, now I'm gonna be able to kill it. Never mind. I'm not gonna make it to the arrow. Okay, I made it. Never mind. Well, that's gonna guarantee me an arrow spawn. And the shade is going at a predictable pattern, so killing it is very easy. Okay, go down. Okay, oh, Max. Uh, I'm kind of broke and only have one dollar to my name. Is it possible for me to donate a dollar for an uncommon... I don't have any holiday weapons in MM2. I'm not an MM2 player. I am not an MM2 player. Okay. Ifritin crying because no one is gonna fight him this year. I really hope he's gonna be a recurring villain. I think it'd be fire if he was. I think it'd be very good. Okay, that's the guaranteed arrow thing. Ooh. Ooh, that was... Ooh, that, that was a pretty good arrow amount. I'll take that. Okay, and you're dead. I almost walked into that. I should have been more careful. I really should have been more careful. Okay, when are you gonna stop? When are you gonna do the Morgue's Boss Challenge? Here. Okay. Okay, I have one more arrow that I can use. That's gonna be a... L no, it's not gonna be a lunge. Okay. What do you mean yesterday's situation? What was yesterday's situation? Are you talking about the servers going down? Was it the fault of Blocks Fruits if it was that? That's funny as hell, I'm not gonna lie. What's the Blocks Fruits incident? What's a... I, I, I don't... I don't know if it's overrated or not. Four million players, damn. The thing is, I feel like... It's either way. I don't, I wouldn't say it's overrated because people and probably enjoy those type of games, which is why they play them. I I think if you enjoy a game, then you can enjoy it. I don't really care if something is underrated or overrated. If a person enjoys it, that's good for them. Unless they enjoy stuff like a Mori Fee Tango, in which case you should not speak to me ever. And please never come in uh, come in contact with me. Okay, get shot. Get shot. And now we're gonna come back. Yes, you are. Easy. And one more. That was really good. That those were predictable patterns. I approve. Good shot. Okay. Yeah, there's for some reason a game called Amori Feet Hangout. 
And Scalfix, for some reason, always jokes about that game. Okay, get shot. Oh, I was too close. I should have been more careful. Yep, yeah, Plas Plasmacticus plays a lot of it. Plasmacticus loves a Morifeet Hangout. Okay. I will never play that game ever. Out of my dignity. I do not want to lose it. Okay. Scafix is projecting, for real. Okay. Now it's gonna lunge. It's still it's still not the sub phase. So does the sub phase start when it's at 66% HP? Because I feel like that's what it is. I, f I think sub phases start at 66. I'm not sure when the phase 2 sub phase happens though. But I'm pretty confident it's gonna happen after the next shot. Yeah, it's still the sub phase. Not the sub phase, phase 1. Yeah, only, only two attacks. It's it's still not the sub phase. Okay, pretty bad arrow spawns. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think I think that place had better arrow spawns. I should have gone there. Yeah, cause I'm getting bad arrow spawns. Oh, that was bad. Okay, I think it's gonna enter the sub phase now. Oh, the yep, sub phase. Okay. Two lunges is a sub phase. How long have I been playing? Uh, not that long. This is my second attempt only. It's not that- Can you stop lunging and actually give me arrows? What the hell is wrong with you? Give me goddamn arrows! Stop it! How many times are you gonna lunge at me? Thank you! Jesus Christ! She really does not like me. Oh, that was- I should not have shot that. That was a really dumb play. What's the hardest event you ever did? Well, I guess Halloween 2020, because it's pretty much the hardest event, I guess. In terms of, like, difficulty of towers. At least compared to my skill level back then, because that was pretty much when I came back to Jade. I was, like, difficult skill level, so it was definitely the hardest event for me. Oh my goodness. And I've been COHP many times, so I guess COHP is the hardest thing I've done when it comes to events. Or, or, ah. Nah, I think... I think the secret phase is, isn't that bad for, for, for uh, like, Aklo and the other girl, I forgot her name, I'm not- Zeria and Aklo, that's- uh, okay. I think the secret phase is a lot easier if you find a good team. Doing it solo, though, is probably- is definitely harder than COHP, though. Okay, Axe. I beat a Radiant Guardian day one. I remember just doing a Radiant Garden during online school. I was- I, for some reason, know how to focus- I, I, I somehow managed to focus and, uh, play Jato at the same time during online school, during the pandemic days, which was a re very good thing, because I could just learn and play at the same time. It was very fun. Okay, easy lunges, easy lunges. Another lunge, never mind, it's not a lunge. Okay. But yeah, Radiant Guardian is honestly a really fun boss. At first I thought it was RNG, but then Coolest Pip told me about the shade strats and I found this and I found my strat, which I just called a stacking strat, where you just stack up on arrows for phase two. I didn't I should have taken damage there. I'm surprised I didn't. I did not even notice she started a lunge. Okay, that's not a lunge. But if you find the right strategies, this boss fight becomes really fun. Well, okay, yeah, 2021 April Fool's event does have the hardest hours, you do have a point. Then, when if we're talking about that, then how April Fool's 2022 probably is the hardest... Well, no, 2023 is the hardest one I've been, because I think Sig Siglubic is harder than Baldi Tower. What's harder, Siglubic or, or Baldi Tower? I'm not sure. How do we go from from this boss to... God damn it. Actually, I can see how we got here, never mind. Okay, it's stacking time. I love the part where he said it's stacking time and then stacked all over the place. Okay, Axe. As long as you don't get screwed over by whatever happened last time, I should be good. That was really bad. Okay. The max... The arrows cap out at, like, the point where... At the left side of the crossbow icon, pretty much. Once the arrows le reach that point, that's when the arrows get capped out. I'm not sure the exact amount of arrows you have, but I think it's enough to kill 
the boss without needing to recollect any more arrows? I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. So Glubik is harder on the difficulty chart. Well, then how uh, April Fool's 2023 is the hardest one I've beaten. Because so Glubik is probably the hardest of anything that I've beaten. So, actually, I've also been Tower of Terrain Climbing Adventures. But I don't think that's harder than Saglubik. I really don't think... What was that lag? Well, that screwed me up a bit. And I'm not... Am I gonna make it to that? No, I'm not. But I'm gonna make it to that. Oh, that's such a risky one. I should not have taken that. But these arrows are being very bad. I'm getting very unlucky. Okay, well, I can definitely make it to this one. I think I got it. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Did she like hit me when she was going backwards? That's the first time that happened. Surprisingly not the weirdest thing that happened to me on this boss fight because I've had many times where the boss fight teleported on me during the axe throw attack. Which is why I don't like playing with teams because whenever that happens it's very annoying because it pretty much screws you over. Yeah, I need I need your luck with the arrows. I swear to God, how you, you were getting all of the arrows whenever we were playing? Uh, I swear to God, you got like five arrows every single arrow spawn, and you got so lucky. And I always got one singular arrow every single time. I don't get how you got so lucky. I swear, you just took away my luck and used it for yourself. That that was very selfish of you. I cannot believe you did that. Well, to be fair, I got really lucky once, and I got ten arrows in one arrow spawn. I don't think I'll ever beat that. That was very lucky. That's like the luckiest I've gotten with arrows. Unfortunately, that run died because I did something very stupid. AKA, I wasn't looking at my HP and I just was focusing on dealing damage. And I died during phase 2 and there was like 3000 HP left, I think. Most of the times when I die to this boss, it's not because I'm bad. I'm bad, it's because I just don't focus on it. I just stop concentrating and I just start doing random things. Usually when, I, when I'm low, I, for some reason, stop focusing on healing and just deal damage. I don't know why I do that, but it's a very bad habit. Okay, well, that's the second time she did that. Why does- why does she just- why does she just give me the worst lunge luck? It's twice in a row where she just tackles me bat when going backwards. That's really funny. I really want to analyze the event teasers because I've, I've not really dissected any of them except for like the first one. So I want to see like what things I can spot in them. Okay. I really should stop looking at chat when finding this boss. Because I feel like that's going to make me lose, uh, lose focus. And focus is what this boss requires. Is, is she Dark Loss' sister? Because I know she's related to Dark Loss. Like, I thought she was just protecting his crypt, but I didn't know she was his sister. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, um, that was bad. I should not have done that. Although, I didn't take too much damage, so it's fine. I'm getting bad arrow luck. The, the issue with uh, COHP is is that half of the lore things in COHP are just confirmed to be not true because Lightsymph decided to add most of the things himself. So a lot of the Dark Laws lore is very confusing because some of the things are true, some of the things are not true, and it's very confusing to me. This boss has uh, has two phases with a, one sub phase on each phase. Basically, phase one has a sub phase where the lunges increase from one lunge to two lunges, and the, the attack where she flies in the air and does random things increases from two to three. And uh, on the third, on the second phase, she has a sub phase where I think she does adds one more lunge to the lunge amount and one more to the to the random attack where it teleports where she teleports in the air. And she also adds more, like, wave, sword slash waves or whatever those are called to the lunge attack at the end. Dark Claws is not guilty. New Dark Claws lore dropped. Dark Claws is a pedophile. 
I really wish, if they make Ifrutina a recurring villain, if, and I hope that's what's gonna happen, I hope they don't do what they did with Dark Laws and make him a loser. Because Dark Laws half, half of the time was just a loser instead of actually being menacing. Which I feel like was like the main miss with that character. It had potential, but I feel like a lot of it was wasted. And we're never gonna see it fixed because, well, Dark Loss is dead. Which I think is for the better. Because that character was going nowhere. Okay, I'm at the max. I just need to get her closer to me. Okay, this is perfect. And she's dead. God damn it. Okay. I did not. Okay, I should stop wasting arrows. I should stop wasting arrows. I should only shoot when I know it's a guaranteed shot. I need to be close to her, though. Because once she stops doing this, she's gonna... Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's some good damage. Okay, well... I don't need the heals, but thank you. This is, this is the healing attack. She pretty much just wants you to win at this point when she does that attack. Oh, I, I hate this part because she usually lunges when that attack happens and that be, that ends up being very annoying because of the swords. Because you have to look at two things at once. Wait, how is she at... 10k? Actually, it makes sense. Never mind. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay that's good. That's good. More arrows for me. If, okay, well, I could have gotten more arrows. Well, the issue with this is I didn't really need to heal. I was at full HP, so I don't know why she did that. She does not want to give me this obby at a useful time. Instead, she's giving it to me when I'm full. This obby is probably the only thing... Not the only thing. There are ma many things that make this fight very easy, but the obby is one of the things that make this fight very easy because it's pretty much a free heal, a heal simulator. Trunk Eagle chat member. That's just the average, the Death Eagle chatter. Totem is created by Darkless. Yes, that is indeed true. Okay, I can shoot her until the ooze disappears. Oh, I missed it. Never mind, I didn't miss it. I hit it. Okay, where is she gonna drop? Oh. Where did she go? Oh. God damn it, I can I forgot that you can only deal damage to her once during that. I don't think I should focus on arrows anymore. I don't really need any. Although to be fair, if I do mess up, I will screw it over. Oh god damn it, lunges. She's pretty much dead. Okay, two shots. She's one shot now. And of course she's hiding. She does, she does not, she does not want the smoke. She, she really does not want it. Oh, and she's dead. She's dead. GG. That was easy. Goodbye. Let's go second try. Would have been first if I didn't get screwed over during phase one earlier. That was fun. I liked it. This boss is really fun. I'm a fan. Let me go, you stupid idiot. See so yeah, how the challenge was done now. That's cool. Let, let's see how many believers believed in me. Oh, this this time there were 52%. Only 52% of people were believers. So pretty much, basically 50... I'm dying. Basically 52 people believed in me, so thank you to the people who believed in me. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was fun. That was pretty good. Now that I've done uh, the challenges... And I can now hide this. Because it's no longer necessary. Goodbye. It's gone now. Uh, there's no... Uh, yeah, there is no Halloween 2022 boss challenge, which sucks. I, I really wanted that to be a challenge. This is 2020. But yeah, I'm now gonna go quickly rebeat the uh, Possessed Blades, because I want to see the dialogue. Because I, I want to try to, like, predict... Do predictions on... On, like, the Halloween boss. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna check out a few things, because, uh... I know there are a few things in Halloween 2022 that could maybe be hints, maybe? I'm gonna just, in case, check, recheck re all the rooms. How many tickets am I at, actually? Ooh, 2.7. It's not good. I need more. I'm thirsty for the tickets. But, yeah, uh... I wanna check out 
like a lot of the building to see if there are possible hints to what the boss could be although i highly doubt they were planning th like this event back in back in like 2022 i highly doubt it there is one thing i do want to check though i i really like this event i think the theming of this event was just so cool it's just being j2hq was sick i really hope that they don't mess up with the theming this year because if all of the steeples are like carnival themed, I feel like it, this if that event could have a lot of potential. But based off of one teaser, I don't think the steeples are, are gonna be carnival themed. Unfortunately, I I really do not think they will be. First thing I want to check out is on floor three. I don't think uh, the lore goes that deep. It was confirmed that Totat is happening uh, is happening by the badges. Wait, there's badges. Are there already Halloween badges? Actually, it might be from last year. But yeah, Toad Hat has already been confirmed to be happening this year. Last year, they said that Toad Hat is gonna happen this year. Because they couldn't do it in time. And yeah, I just want to analyze a few things about the Toad Hat, like, portal room. Just to see what things we maybe we could, like, predict. Oh, what the hell? Because if you don't know, there the, the Totat portal is uh, the Totat portal room is in this like a lobby and it's accessible, fully accessible. Is it accessible by going out of bounds? Yes. Uh, this entire event a few days because I was bored. Creepy. Fair enough. I this I mean to be fair, this event is really fun, so I'm I'm not surprised. Okay, I'm slow. I really like this gimmick where you get a random uh, debuff and you have to do the obby with that random debuff. I like it. Yeah, this event is really good. I I've always been saying that 2020 is better, but I'm gonna be honest, 2020 is only better because I really think COHP is just an amazing Citadel to end off like the whole Dark Laws saga. And I really hope they do more... If, if they make... It gives you PTSD, fair enough. If they make... Uh, what's his name? E14, a reoccurring villain. I hope there's gonna be a, a big citadel to end it off. I really hope it, it does. Yeah, this steeple is probably hell for speedrunners just because of that RNG. Okay. So, I forgot how you did this. I think this event is objectively better, though, than... SOTT is broken. Oh, is it broken? What is... The final cube doesn't work. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I think it's not gonna go there. And now it's going for the middle. SOTT is really good. SOTT is SOPP done right, in my opinion. That's what I see SOTT as. I'm gonna kill Adamir! No, he touched it. Nah, this steeple is the best just because you get to kill Slamo. Me and my homies hate Slamo. <laughs> Blocksmith is gonna make you fail. I really like this challenge. This challenge is so fun. It's so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna make my obby impossible. Yeah. Not possible. Not a single jump is gonna be possible. You can only jump on here. I think you can jump on here. And you can jump on here. Actually, you, you, you probably can. I'm gonna kill Adamir. Gonna steal the Admir audience, on oh god. Okay. They could they could LHJ to the wind pad, that is right. But the question is, does the cube know how to LHJ? Does he know? Because I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Well done. I'm just too good. Seems like that cube cannot even jump. What a loser. It's funny how the steeple is literally just squid game steeple. I find that so funny. I find that so funny. Final challenge race against your opponent. You actually die if you fail this race, which is funny to me. I would have thought that it maybe gives you a free win, but no, you just straight up die, get murdered, get slaughtered, no chance to come back. Which, to be fair, shouldn't be a surprise. But a punishing steeple during 2022 just, they don't exist. They're very rare. Let's go. The race is free, yeah. Let's go. I'm the last one standing. Let's go. I'm just too good. <laughs> you got gifted a membership to Admir's channel. 
Amazing. I'm still subscribed to Adamir Plus. I'm a prisoner to, to his schemes. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the uh, Totat is over here. I forgot how you get to it, I'm not gonna lie. All I know is that it's like somewhere behind here. Inferno Guardians. Hopefully I remember the way, hopefully. And you have to like do a do a like a jump down. Which from what I remember is fairly RNG. Is that possible? Is that a po I don't think it is. I think you can wall hop on that. Actually you don't even need to do that. You just need to go around. What if they're cousins of Dark Claws? What are? Okay, wait, where do you go again on this? I fully forgot, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's down there, if I, I th Yeah, I think it's down there, yeah. Uh, you need to, like, make it onto that corner, I think. I, I messed that up. I messed that up. I need to... Turn on... Uh, reset on... The, it's on. To be fair, that jump is fairly difficult, in my opinion, at least. Uh, the difficult... We are maybe trying to figure out what the Jato boss tree is. Okay. Did Adamir make it? Nope, he didn't. We both failed to jump, unfortunately. Luckily, this is the shortest steeple, so it's all good. If it wasn't the shortest, then that would suck. I don't care if you don't need to do SOHE, I want to do SOHE. Even if there's a new better method, I'll still be doing this method because I find it nostalgic. Because I just loved theorizing about Totat. I found it very fun. I am a wanted criminal, you are not You are not wrong. A sub 4, I don't think I'll be able to do that. I don't think I'm that good. I mean, I could try. I really could. But I don't know any skips and stuff like that. And these candies are fully randomized. Okay, well, I didn't get anything that, like, makes me slower, so that's good. It makes me blind, though. It makes me legally blind, which is not really that fun. I would not want to be legally blind just because I ate a piece of candy. I feel like that would suck. That would be really bad. And I wouldn't wish such a thing upon anyone else. You basically did it in uh, 407, did I? Kid wants some candy? Okay, well, if I did it in 407, then I then it's definitely possible, because I didn't know... I forgot what to do on the bowling thing. Okay. You also can go die. I'm just a murderer. That's what I've noticed. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a savage killer. I'm a monster. Okay, now you can go die. Goodbye. Nobody will miss you. For good this time. Thank goodness. Okay. Is the is the piano boss related to anyone? What the hell are you even saying? The piano boss is just a piano. How can it be related to anything if it's a goddamn piano? Is there maybe a way you could cheese this? By maybe stacking these blocks up. Is there any way to do such a thing? What can I say? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm born to be a speedrunner. I am born to be a speedrunner. What can I say? What can I say? I am the speedrun god. Just too good. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, the cat... Sub free is impossible, unfortunately. But maybe a sub three fifty, hopefully. Oh god damn it, that's a time loss. Okay. Pretty bad cycle. Okay, can I beat this faster than I did last time? Yes, I can. Let's go. We're just too good. Okay, sub free fit free, free thirty. Come on, I can do it. Please, I'm so close. Please. 
Hurry! And I would have done it. I would have done it. So yeah, sub sub free probably is possible. I would not be surprised if it was. I really would not be surprised if it was. Okay, this time I'm gonna do the jump. I'm not gonna mess it up. Also, I think I know where uh, where uh, the the, the Totat portal would have been, like how you would have been teleported to Totat. I'm pretty confident I know how. You don't jump from where you did last time. Where do you jump from? Is there an easier way? I assume you can just... I'll DM. Wait, can I just do... I don't think so. Let me see. Let me see what Adamir is talking about. Forgot grandparents, amazing. The only hard part about this whole thing is getting down to that spike thing. The spread is, is a wedge. Oh, is it? Is it a wedge? Oh, I guess it is. Okay, well, thank you, Adamir, for the... Um, uh, We don't talk about that. We will not be talking about that. Let's ignore what happened. And let's continue on with our days. Let's ignore what happened and let's just continue on that was bad that was very stupid very bad okay we were making a snow gang steeple in the christmas story and array and dn just gave us seals from totat amazing oh th <laughs> thank you p lord for the donation i appreciate it I don't know what currency that is, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And yes, we will not be talking about that. I agree. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have the CCOs, don't don't tell what they are, because I want it to be a surprise. I think there's there, I think there's a, a speed. Uh, the difficult polish community. What? I think, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, one of them is a speed thing. So if I get the speed thing, oh, that's a time loss. Yo, perfect for a speed run. Let's go. Oh, I, I should have optimized the route. I would not optimized it. This is a big time loss. Well, okay. Sub sub free is possible. Sub free is possible. Maybe well not sub free, but sub free twenty free twenty is possible. I think free twenty is possible. It's very doable. I think it's doable. Okay, you go down. You go down. Okay. Okay. I think that's a donation thing. So thank you to the person who though. Nate it to me, I appreciate it. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. Good pace. Good pace. Okay, now I need to push the things to the right spots. Okay. I can't see. Hopefully I pushed it to the right spot. I did. Okay. Unfortunately, I made the obby possible for the guy who's racing me. Truly really isn't good. Okay. Sub free 20 potential, come on. Free 20 potential. I could do it. This space is insane. This space is insane. On oh, God, I feel like this steeple would actually be really fun to speed run. I think it would be really fun to speed run. There would be an RNG element to it. Oh my God, I messed it up. Sub free twenty is out of reach. Oh, I was on pace. I was on pace. Oh my, that cycle was terrible. Oh God damn it. God damn it. I got. I fell under the pressure. Rest in peace. 
we will not be seeing a documentary on the SOHE speedrun history. Unfortunately, I messed up. That's the biggest L of the century. Oh, this run. That oh, that was such a slow one. I mean, sub 30 could still be possible. Free 30 could still be possible, maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, I think it's dead. This run is fully dead. Oh, that's a really bad run. It would have been pos- I would have done it in sub 330 still. So it's okay. 330 has still been completed, so it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, this time, I'm not gonna fail. Fur time's the charm. Everyone says that, now let's see if it's- if, if it's actually true or full. Pro speed running. Uh, when will you do the Destroy the Orphan Challenge? Oh, I've already done it. Back in two- back in 2004. But we did not talk about that incident. We do not. Forgive and forget. No. Move on, forgive and forget. That is my... That is my motto. Not motto, motto. I'm so stupid. Okay, this time, I know how to do it. Okay, nice, yeah, four times the charm. So, now I go around, and there's a little opening somewhere over here, I think, on this side. That lets you get into the room. Which I still think was left there on purpose. There is no way they would leave this sort of thing on accident. This was definitely left there on purpose. But yeah, this is the Toad Hat portal room. It's made by Array and Dian, which is, I guess, good knowledge. It doesn't really say much. And it's not recommended for mobile, it's intense, as you can see. And in this little room, authorized personnel only, the restricted area, Project Time Capsule 19, which was one of the badge names back in 2022, which pretty much at the time confirmed that this was going to be for this event, but then it got delayed. And yeah, this is the room. It doesn't really say much about the Citadel. Not the Citadel, the tower. It doesn't really say much. But I, I really like this walk-up. I really like how you just, like, walk up. And you just see that portal. That's so cool. Now, based off the fact that it says uh, Project Time Capsule, it makes me think it's probably gonna be, like somehow reference well obviously it's gonna be a, a sotat sequel but i feel like it's probably gonna have like maybe it's gonna be an extension to sotat maybe it's gonna be something else i'm not sure what it's gonna be but i think the time capsule thing is probably gonna have meaning i would be surprised if it doesn't it probably just refers to the fact that it's like a sequel to sotat which well obviously is back in like 2019 so yeah, I, I'm excited for Totat. It's made by Array and Dian, so it should be good. And we're definitely gonna see at least 20 snowmen in this uh, tower. So that's pretty cool. So that, that's Totat. And I think it would have appeared in Array's room, like the, the portal room, because of one thing in, in the room. I think the tower might be in a teaser. Is it? Well, I- well, once I dissect the teasers and check them out, I guess we'll see. I think Array's room is on floor 6, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's on floor 6. I could be wrong, though. Hello? Did I not- okay, well, I called this one. I think it's on 6. Tower of tailing and tolling, what? Okay. Yeah, this is Array's room, so... There's a little thing in Array's room, up here. Oh, actually, wait, no, it's not this thing, it's this thing. I'm stupid. Over here. Twister Manipulator Floor 6. It, like, changes Floor 6. And I think what would have happened is this uh, portal would have been, like, unboarded once you click that. And it just, like... Let teleports you to the to the uh, totat room. That's my guess. That's what I think would have happened. But since it well just wasn't released, it never happened. But that's my theory on how you would have gotten into totat. Or it would have been like f on floor ten. Not, well, not the floor ten, but the roof floor, just like uh, as sott is. Ring ten tod. I agree with this one. That's a joke. Toddd is good. But yeah, that's my theory on how you would have gotten in. Another thing is, I was theorizing about the sequel of, like, of a COHP, because if you sit here, it says, like, 
oh, COHP is gonna come back and whatever. And if you look over to COHP, it says it's looking at you, like straight at you. And over here it somewhere says, uh, where is it? I think it says somewhere that it's... Yeah, I'm watching you right now as we speak, so my guess would have been is that the COH COHP would have maybe had a sequel, because the COHP were busy looking at you. And my guess is that it would have been the villain, unless E14 could be the COHP orb, which... I doubt that's the case, but that would be cool. That would be cool. And that was my theory for the longest time, just because it says it's watching you right now, and that thing is literally looking at you as you sit in the chair. So that's that's that was my theory. Unfortunately, it's probably not gonna come true, because Lightsim, unfortunately, no longer is a developer, so I really do not think we're gonna get a sequel to COHP. Another thing back in the event is if you looked through floor 10, on floor 10 you can you could have seen the COHP lights and there was a citadel portal down there. So there was probably something well I think it was more talked about in the document that it was gonna be something relating to COHP and you had to like do something, some with radios and whatever. So that's cool. Anyways, I wanna see these notes. Uh okay. Uh, use the essence of hatred to possess objects uh, with said hatred to take place of traditional bosses. I'm, I assume it's talking about E14. Manifestation save executive money. The same essence may be reused for future bosses. So yeah, E14... I feel like this is showing that E14 is probably gonna be a returning boss. Manifestations need no containment for they are mindless husks which may be altered to our likeness to fulfill boss roles. Halloween 2021 will have a proto prototype in form of E14, which will possess two swords. We will further... Yeah. I, f I think E14 will be a reoccurring boss, just because of those notes. What's this? Uh, this is E2. That's the, that's the thing, the mech. That's Radiant Guardian. That's uh, Hot Chocolate Fury. That's Janitor from Hell. That's the Sprite Cranberry thing. That's the Tsunami, I think. Those are all the Dark Loss variants. Uh, Christmas 2019, I think, then Halloween 2020, uh, uh, COHP, and then Christmas 2020, Hot Chocolate Fury. And this is... Uh... Do not disturb any of the eggs, please. I think that's the turkey from the, the Thanksgiving event. But yeah, I really hope that uh, E14 is going to be a reoccurring boss, and I hope it's going to be executed very well. The intense difficulty Citadel got cancelled. If you go to HE2022 uh, to experience and look at the difficulty chart, you will see a question mark thing in REM and one in intense. Yeah, I, the Citadel was probably going to be REM because Totat is intense. Although that could be SOT. No, I think, I think, it, I think it's not... Uh, I think none of the difficulties are the Citadel because uh, one of them is Totat and the other one is SOTT because Totat was meant to be... A thing for this event which unfortunately got delayed which is good because a delayed project is better than a rushed one it was I want to see the dialogue of the e13 because it because if the boss is gonna return I want to like understand the motives of it so yeah I'm not gonna skip the dot like I want to read it okay what what does blood have to say dot 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 interesting I am here. Hello. Uh, looks like someone has found my new hideout. <laughs> what other hideout does this guy have? You probably figured out by now that I'm the sole reason your world is on the verge of darkness. If you think you can stop me, that's nothing short of hilarious. I've easily captured almost all of the people keeping this world a stable. What makes you think you're any stronger than them? Because I have a gun. They had access to tools that could have easily destroyed me, but guess what? They were too late. Uh, so, uh, with that in mind, I'm giving you one less chance to flee. I'm not gonna flee. Okay. This boss fight is luckily pretty much free, so I shouldn't be- it shouldn't be too bad. The best strat for this boss is half charging it to like two circles. I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty con- I'm- pr if I remember correctly, that's like the optimal strategy. To deal the most amount of DPS. Also, the people saying this boss is RNG, you are wrong. It's not. Okay, that's a sword thing. Wait, was this boss buffed? I sort of it had 5k damage. 
Was it buffed? Because I'm pretty sure it had 5k. Unless I'm mistaken. Have you heard of Mystic and... What incident? I, I have not heard of that incident, no. Okay, jump over. Okay... Oh, I timed that poorly, but I didn't take damage, so it's all good. This boss is so fun. Easily my favorite boss in all of Jato. Actually, I think Totem Mark II might be my favorite boss, but this is still a really fun boss. I think this is like a close second to, to the COHP boss fight, I really do. Because this boss fight just is good, this, the, the music, everything about it is just so fun. It just overall is a very fun boss. Yeah, yeah, I, I know COHP counts as a boss, which is why I said I think COHP is better. I think Totem Mark II is the best floor in all of Jato. Because I think that counts as one floor. Okay, so this is phase two. Phase two is the only thing that's like fairly diff- I missed time that's so poorly. Phase two is like the only actually hard part of the Citadel. Not the Citadel, the boss. I mean, can you count this as a Citadel? I mean, it has like a tower. Oh, I, I need to learn to time that better. I fully forgot about the timing for that one. Okay. I really like what they did with the arena. With the whole circle thing. I find that I am not looking at my HP. What the hell? Oh. Oh, I died I died to possess blades. This I feel so ashamed of myself. How did I die to possess blades? I'm actually bad at this. I'm actually bad at this. What the hell? What the hell? What a frill. How did I die to possess blades? Am I really that bad? How did I do that? I'm actually bad. Possess blades is literally free. How did I die? And so early into phase two. I need to learn to time that better. I feel like that's like the reason why I took so much damage. Okay. Isn't the spinning, uh, the spinning what? The spinning maze in TOZ a boss? Uh, that's not a boss. The spinning maze in TOZ is not a boss, no. It's just like a final stretch. It's more of a final stretch than a boss, I'd say. Okay. Oh, I, I really need to time that better. My main issue with this boss is that I just cannot learn to time that attack for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that sword came out of nowhere. Yeah, well, that was better. Can't you just- wait, can you destroy them with your cannon? I don't think you can, no. Yeah, if they made you redo the spire, I feel like this boss would have been very annoying. And I'm glad that you can still redo the spire if you want by just uh, jumping down. I'm glad that that's still a possibility that- I, uh, can you not destroy the bosses, the little swords with the, uh, with uh, the cannon? I thought you could. Okay. Well, the phase one is almost over. Oh, that would that could have been bad. I could have died. Okay. Shooting, doing bad attack. Okay. Well, now it's dead. And that's phase one done. Nice. Get good greets and touch grass. I mean, Cope doesn't have a boss. Oh wait, no. Oh, never mind. I I, I thought you were talking about COP. Yeah, Cope's boss. I I wouldn't even count it as a boss at that point. I feel I don't feel like it's a boss. I assume they're keeping a boss for like. The third installment of that thing, of like that whole series of things, if it's even gonna ever happen. Which I hope it does. That'd be cool. I can hear it doing the thing. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got caught in the middle. With this boss, it's really important to find the balance between damaging and healing. Because if you take too much damage, then you're gonna have to heal. Why is it whenever I play this boss alone, I manage to do it without with barely taking any hits, but as soon as I'm streaming, I just become terrible at the game. Okay. I need to be careful. I'm just gonna come up close. I'm just gonna deal this damage. Not a lot of damage, but hey, I don't care. Okay. It'd be cool if you could deal more damage if you hit the thing straight in the eye. Although, to be fair, it is literally a sword, so it wouldn't make sense. Even... Going down again. Is Roblox going down again? If so, that's funny. Average Roblox server moment. Also, sorry that I'm not reading chat as much. That's mainly because I am focusing on the boss, so hopefully that's fine with all of you. Okay, I think I've gotten the timing down now. I think I should be good with it. Wait, does hitting the eye do want more damage? If so, that's actually cool. I did not know that. Thank you for telling me that. I did not know that. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna aim for the eye then. Oh, that was bad. I had to jump over two things at once. Okay, die, die, die. Okay. Okay. If the boss gets up close, I feel like it's better to just not even charge. I feel like how you shoot depends on how close the boss is. Nice. Okay, I've gotten better at the timing, which is good. Because I feel like that attack is the only attack that actually, like, has a chance of killing me. Because I don't find this boss to be that hard. I think it's a fairly simple boss. Okay, well, I need to get a lot closer. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Easy damage. Okay. I rebeat the boss, nice. Yeah, this boss is so good. Yeah, m I, I, okay, I know this is stupid, but I really hope that the boss this year is gonna be a jack-in-the-box. Like, you know the things where you wind them up and the guy pops out? I, I don't know why, but I really hope that that's, that, that's gonna be the, like, the boss. I don't know why that in specific, but I just want that to be the boss. I think it'd be cool, and they could do many things with, with it. Okay, and I'm, I now just got reminded that I, to do not why I don't get too close to this boss, because I mean that attack is to be fair easy to to avoid, so it's not really an issue. Yeah, I definitely won this. There is no way I lose. Okay, this is such a good box. I think it's a jack in a box. That is that not what it's called? I could I might have misremembered the name, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Jack in the Box. Okay. And done. Yeah, GG. I've played around a few for enough time. You should have realized that me capturing most of the developers gives me infinite power over this world. It's time to end everything. Well, then just delete the game, you loser. What is this thing, though? Like, what is this text? Like, what is the blue text? Do we know what that blue text is? Like, does anyone in the chat have more knowledge over the lore? Like, wh who is this? I need to know. 
every god mother. Okay, the red blade. Okay. I know that the, the sign text is, uh... I know that the sign text is obviously like the blade. I don't think that's what the blue text is. How much damage does the full charge deal? Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna full charge it. That's a big chunk of damage, yeah. I think full charges are the easiest way. Okay. Okay, nice. Now once it's done doing that bullet hell attack, I can just... Okay, it's gone. Big chunk of damage. I mean, it is pretty big. Oh, I missed. I'm so smart. Okay. God damn it. My aim is really bad. The, be the best way to deal damage is to get up close and personal with the boss. Straight up whack it. Oh, who subscribed? Thank you to the person who subscribed. I can't check right now, but the chat can probably tell me who subscribed. So thank you to the person who subscribed. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Chat, who was the person that subscribed? I need to thank them. What's their name? Okay. Avery is good, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate it. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Avery, you have you have fans. You should be kneeling down and preparing for destruction. Well I'm not gonna. So malt harder, kid. And he is dead. Okay. What does he say now? Guess that's the end of my plan for now, okay. Take this victory for now, I guess. Just keep in mind that I'll be back in a different form for revenge soon, and you can count on that. Goodbye for now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna do an actual evil off. I could not be bothered enough. Okay, so he doesn't actually die. Which is already an improvement over Dark over Dark Claws because Dark Claws kept on dying and dying and dying, just getting revived. Okay, so I'm. It appears that E14 will be the bo the boss for next year, just based off the dialogue. He he has to be, and I'm happy because we're get getting another reoccurring villain, which is really good, because I feel like E14 is actually set up as an actual threat, unlike Dark Claws, which just most of the, half of the time ended up being a joke. Because, like, he actually wants to destroy the world, I guess. And the guy actually, like, doesn't die. He, he didn't die, he just vanished. He just said, I, I'm out. Yeah, oh, well, I lost that. More Douglas is like, no, I lost, I'm gonna piss my pants now. I'm a little, I'm a little piss, baby. Whereas this guy just says, I, I lost, goodbye. I'm gonna kill you next time. Which I really like the direction of the boss, I really do. I'm I'm exci I'm excited to see what how E14 will develop. I really am. <laughs> Cats couldn't have the devs. Yeah, I mean, have the devs been freed? Because I don't think they have. It, it it isn't implied whether they were they have been freed or not. But yeah, I'm excited to see how the story of E14 will develop. I really am, and I hope and I hope they don't make him out to be like this loser, like they did, what they did with Dark Claws. I really hope he ends up being an actual threatening villain, and this and the story ends with like a big citadel after like the two more events. Because I think what what would be a cool event format is like a villain, a reoccurring villain for like four four events, three to four, maybe even five events, and then like a big citadel like COHP to end off their story. Because like it'd be cool because uh, they wouldn't need to do a citadel every single year, and they could do it like every so often, and it'd be very fun. I think. Because, would you prefer if there was a different villain each time, 
or if there was like a reoccurring villain every like three to four like for three to four events what do you think because because i personally think it'd be cool if it, there were just things there were just reoccurring villains instead of just straight up new ones just your schizophrenic demons becoming the villains so yeah actually i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna make a poll because i am interested uh what what would you prefer for for event bosses okay so the first option will be new boss each time a reoccurring boss for three to four events because I feel like if there's a reoccurring boss, then we could have a chance of getting another CHP like Citadel to like end off a story, and I feel like that'd be cool. Still stuck on a Radiant Guardian. Do you want me to help, Makina? Because I could help you with a Radiant Guardian. I could help. But yeah, I, th I think that's cool. I mean, didn't a Radiant Guardian die? I really don't think a Radiant Guardian will be back. Okay, so now I want to quickly analyze all the teasers because, well teasers i like teasers and i haven't really analyzed too many of them and i feel like they could tell a lot about the event so let me quickly just uh find the first one and this is the first one let me quickly uh put this in here and let me open this up okay so well, this is the this is the first teaser opening soon reserve tickets today there are a few like pixels here could the, are the, those pixels mean anything it's like the thing that like bothers me about this teaser is that they're just a few pixels here all right makina so yeah from this this teaser i assume is the entrance of the whole area and you can see like the, the ferris wheel like is that a, is that the difficulty chart that does not look like it's the difficulty chart uh, let me see if there anything appears if you like sharpen it it's like a that's like a car i think that's like a carnival game is it the i mean it says welcome i'm pretty sure it's it's the entrance yeah i think they are sm extremely small text that's impossible to read i, I really do Okay, wait, what's that there? It looks like, yeah, that looks like the top of a carnival booth. Yeah, these looks these look like they're like carnival games. And over, and that's, that's like a crane. I assume it's for a ride. I mean, what else would it be for? Well, yeah, it's obviously, I mean, it's obviously carnival themed. I mean, just look at it. The, the theme is definitely carnival, I, but I just want to see what sort of things we can like expect. Okay, so there's stalls here. What's the ever teaser? Next teaser is uh, this. Well, you can see you can see more here actually. Okay, pixeler. Let me do this. Okay. In this one, you can see like balloons. That's a pumpkin. You can see like carnival games. Is this? I don't think this is. I don't think it's next to the entrance. This place. Is it? No, it doesn't. By the looks of it, this isn't near the entrance. I use uh, SPC gear G GK530, I think. And by the looks of it, it's not anywhere near the entrance, because you would see the Ferris wheel. And that's out of view right now. Gamma said that the boss was going to be something really silly and goofy, I think. I really hope it's a jack-in-a-box, then. I really do. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, for, for this sort of event, a silly boss would be good. Oh, there's a person here. What person is this? Is this Storm T? That's like the first person I think of when I see that sort of outfit. That's, that, that's definitely not a clown. This looks like an actual person. That's... I don't think that's you, Greeny. I really don't think that's you. That does not look like I I alert. And... Is that a person over... No, I don't think that is. I... Can we see any sort of, uh, like tower here i don't think we can i don't think there's like any sort of steeple or tower here let me sharpen this this one more time as well just like see you know there's nothing really too special here i don't see any like portals here 
Oh, that's Burb's. Okay, it's Burb's word then. Uh, what's over there behind that fence? Looks like a tent, maybe like a a circus tent. Okay, half the time of your life, reserve tickets today. Reserve tickets today. All of these have save reserve tickets today. Okay, so this is this is gonna be the logo. That looks that looks good. This looks like a really cool. I like the purple and orange theme of this. I really do. Now for reservation. Okay, so the text now has changed. Okay. Can you see anything here? Uh, so that that's a portal. That's a steeple portal over there that I can see. It's very out in the open. I, I would have expected it to have its own room, but it's very in the open. You shut up a, a, a palace in Isle. It would be cool, yeah. What do you mean killing your years? How did I kill your years? The boss is the jester from Bandan for I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. Okay, so by the looks of it, this is probably the easiest steeple because it only has the yellow thing. Yeah, I see the other person. What person is that? Wait, okay, wait. Uh, look at that. Is that... I think that might be the same thing from the first teaser over here. So, th so this is like at the back. This is like the back of, uh, of the whole uh, carnival area. By the looks of it, it's gonna be fairly big. I think these are the same. Because this is, this is tilted and so is this. And you'd look to have like pretty much a very similar structure. So I think these are the same exact thing. I could be wrong. Garden of Ban Ban. Okay, so it, it is a fairly big area then. If you can ride the rides, this has the potential to be the best event. I'm not even gonna lie. Actually, could it be... I don't know, because, like, surely you would see this. You would also probably be able to see this. I don't think... I don't think these two are the same. Because you would be able to see this thing and this thing, but you can only see that. Is that... <laughs> natural disaster, man. It, but, okay, can you can you see anything else? You can I can only see the portal. That's pretty much it. By the looks of it, there's nothing really else you can see in this teaser. Okay, what's the next teaser then? Next teaser is a video. So that's obviously a steep one of the steeples. One, two, three, four, five floors. By the looks of it. And it's next to a wheel. Wait. Okay, wait. Is uh, this... Is that the exact... That's the wrong thing. Those are the exact same structures? By the looks of it, they are. So... So this thing is the thing over here, then, that means. So it is... Is it that big? Because, like... If the Ferris wheel is next to the entrance, and this thing... And this thing is next to the back. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that big. Is there another portal? Okay, well, I'll I'll check for that. Wait, yeah, that's a steeple. Is it is it this steeple though? I don't think it's this. It could be. I mean, the color scheme does match. It does match, I guess. So it could be, and we can pretty much see like the size of the whole carnival area. Cause like we can see both of the objects here so it's not like too big it's not that big of a park but that's fine i think it's a decent size though the last teaser is this house it's the house from kohad the lobby obviously isn't gonna be big yeah it's not it, well, it's obviously not gonna be big but i'm gonna be honest it's bigger than i expected it to be i thought it would have been a bit smaller but there's text there Okay, well, that's the fun house, and there's... Oh, wait, no, that's not text, that's the hat. That's, like, the red band from the hat. Okay, so I assume this is gonna be the, the boss arena. This looks pretty big and grand. My theory is this thing is gonna open once you get next to it. It does look like a boss entrance, so it's gonna be a fun house. Okay, that's interesting. I look forward to our next meet meeting. Okay, so we can see one portal, 
Is there? Can we see a portal from here? I don't think there's a anything in this. These are too impressive. <laughs> yeah, this. This doesn't look like it's anything too special. But from the first and the, the the video teaser, we can like see pretty much the size of the park. This is interesting though. It's definitely gonna be a. a this is definitely a boss arena. and I would be surprised if it's anything else. Is it is it a clown? Would mean it's confirmed. How is it confirmed? How is it how is how is it confirmed? What confirms it? You can see at least. Wait, can you see at least one snowman? I don't think I can see a snowman here. <laughs> There's no snowman in this teaser, so I really don't think it's anything like that. Uh, it looks. This is interesting. So this is. I think, wait, look at how, look at this, this is like, it's like a sideways road, is it gonna be a, I think this is gonna be a bridge, you can see the lamppost, it's like, it's like vertical, this road is vertical, by the looks of it, this is gonna be like an extendable bridge, or maybe a thing you need to walk, walk up like, I don't know, this is, this definitely, I feel like, is the boss room. Bro, this is in Rainbow Tower. Is it a snow? That's not a snowman, that's a pumpkin. <coughs> it could be a snowman. I thought it was a pumpkin, but it could be a snowman. We <laughs> need for another snowman boss. It's actually just uh, painted on the road. Could be, it could be, it would be very funny. But by the looks of it, this is gonna be an extendable bridge. Can we see, like, the boss arena from here? No, I don't think we can. So I think ba just this road alone confirms that this is, like, a whole boss arena. And you can't see really anything behind it, so this looks like it's at the side of a map. So it, I, I, I think, I think it is gonna end up being the boss room. And then this is, there's a steeple portal there, and I think it's gonna be, it's this steeple that the portal is leading to. Because both of them share a similar color scheme. But that's like a waterfall on an island. Yeah, that's interesting. It has a top hat. Yeah, it does have a top hat. So yeah, I f I'm excited for this event. E14 is probably gonna beat the boss again. It's probably gonna possess something, which is really interesting. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the theming, honestly. I think this event could be a really good one. It all depends on the quality of everything. So now that I've done pretty much everything, I'm gonna end the stream now because, well, I don't think there's really much we could do. I mean, we could look at the difficulties of steeples, but those aren't really anything special. They don't reveal much. Even it's probably gonna pull a 2.2. I doubt it. I think it's gonna release. It looks, by the looks of it, like the buildings are finished. So yeah, thank you everyone for joining the stream. I will now be ending it because, well, as I, I did all the weekly challenges and I pretty much like analyzed the event. So I don't want to try to predict the steeple's names because I'm going to mess it up. We only really know information about one steeple and even then I'm confused what, about what it is. I think it's going to be a sequel to SOMF, personally. I doubt it is going to be, but yeah. Anyways, thank you everyone for joining the stream. Uh, thank you whoever joined at the start of the stream or a few minutes ago. I appreciate it. And yeah, uh, I will see you next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Depends on your time zone. And yeah, goodbye. Well, yeah, the sequel to SOMF is... No, wait, SOMA... No, what? Is SOMA a sequel to SOMF? I don't think it is. Okay, whatever. Goodbye. I'm stupid. See ya.